shop for a lot of, uh, you know, it's, it's very high-end shops. I took my credit card out there and they showed it to him and slapped me in the face just for taking it out of my wallet. Harley Davidson Cafe on the right, that's a great place for lunch and dinner, even if you're not into Harley's, Harley Davidson memorabilia. They do have Harley's going around this evening on a conveyor belt. And it's very reasonably priced for being on the strip. I mean, it's more like a TJ on Fridays price-wise. That's very rare. That, across the street, you got a bubblegum shrimp is also very reasonably priced. Lots of places on the strip you get a little, a little get high, uh, high as far as the prices go. Oh yeah, we're real close. What's the next stop? Yeah. Margaritaville is at the Flamingo. And we're going to be stopping at Valley's right across the street is, well, pretty much you're almost at the Flamingo there. You'll see it as we uh, get closer. But then again, you can get the $12 margarita at Margaritaville, or you can go downtown and get 12 dollars cent margaritas. If you don't know the better deal, you shouldn't be drinking them anyway. You don't have to get all 12 at the same time. You get one at a time. <laughs> or a big cup. On the left, we got the Cosmopolitan. They have the Chandelier Bar in there, one of the world's largest chandeliers. Three stories tall with a bar on each level of those three stories surrounding that chandelier. It's a $28 million chandelier. A lot of good restaurants in there as well at uh, Planet Hollywood. I'll tell you, Valleys, Valleys is connected right inside of Paris. So right through and you end up right here. Not even going outside. And you just walk in that. So you only have to walk this far to get there. Paris is a beautiful um, French themed casino. The amount of detail in the Paris Hotel is unbelievable, both inside and out. They did such a good job of the Paris Hotel. They built a city in Europe that looks just like it. Just seeing if you're listening again. No, they copied this. On the right, you got the Eiffel Tower. That was meant to be a full-scale replica, too close to the airport. It's half size, but you can still get a good view at the top. A lot of good restaurants in the Paris Hotel. On the left, you got the Bellagio. That 8 acre, $40 million lake has fountains that go off every half an hour in the afternoon, just maintenance on it. And every 15 minutes, evening. 